look at this beast right here. Is this what you really imagine the Tyrannosaurus to look like? What if I told you you're completely wrong and the actual T-Rex looked even more weird? If you really want to know what the Tyrant King actually looked like, stick to the end of the video. I guarantee you it's going to be a shocker. And hey, why don't you subscribe for more interesting videos like this? With that out of the way, let's begin. When you imagine what the T-Rex looks like, you probably think of a large, muscular, green dinosaur with sharp teeth. However, that couldn't be farther from the truth. First, let's talk about body shape and physique. Yes, this nightmare was a very powerful and dangerous dinosaur, and was undoubtedly very strong. However, recent science discoveries say that it had a lot of fat with its muscle. A good body to imagine would be an elephant or a hippo. We all know these are very powerful and capable creatures, however, they don't really look very muscular or jacked. In fact, I want you to look at the skull for a second. What do you think it is? I bet, if you reconstructed it, it would look very similar to a monster-like creature. However, we know that's not the case at all. That's actually a hippo skull. Taking that into consideration, the Tyrannosaurus would probably have not looked ripped as its movie counterpart did. And on top of that, it had a very low center of gravity, so it would obviously be hunched over rather than standing straight up. Next, let's talk about the color of the Tyrant King. It's said that this beast lived near forests and river valleys. In order to blend in with its natural surroundings, it would have to probably be some sort of brown or earth toned pharian. If we look at modern day bears, which live in similar habitats, we can see the same attribute of color. So, if you were hoping that a rainbow T-Rex would have existed, I wouldn't keep your hopes up. So, we got its physique and color nailed down. But, let's move on to the hotly debated topic. Did the T-Rex actually have feathers? Was it just a giant overgrown chicken that was carnivorous? Well, not exactly. The purpose of feathers on dinosaurs was said to keep the dinosaur warm and attract mates. Generally speaking, the larger the creature, the hotter it gets. Scientists say that there would be no use for an adult T-Rex to have feathers because it would just overheat it and add more weight. In fact, we actually found skin prints of the Tyrant King, and there were no feathers to be found. But, this doesn't rule out the possibility for the T-Rex having feathers. It was said that the Tyrant King might have had actually little tiny feathers along its spine, similar to that of the little tiny hairs that the elephant has. However, it was said that the baby T-Rexes probably had feathers, but they just grew out of them when they were an adult. Well that's a relief, because T-Rexes covered in feathers are just weird and not cool. And of course, the T-Rex kept its iconic, short and powerful arms with its large teeth, similar to that of its movie counterpart. So, the modern interpretation of the T-Rex would probably look something like this. I'd also like to add that this is our current understanding of what the T-Rex looks like based on evidence, and information always changes. So, if you enjoy this content, please feel free to check out any of my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe and comment on any future videos you'd like to see. That being said, thank you for taking the time to view this video, and have a nice day.